My name is Andrew Binder. I'm a fourth generation family member and owner of Philippe's Restaurant here in Los Angeles. So here at Philippe's, the French dip sandwich was invented actually in 1918, so 10 years after we opened. So it will be 100 years old this year. Philippe, who opened the restaurant, uh, was making a sandwich and the French roll fell into the pan drippings. Uh, the customer was in a hurry, so he took the sandwich that way and came back the next day with some buddies requesting the sandwich be dipped. So that really was the birth of the French dip. It was a happy accident. Here in LA, we're actually lucky to be considered an iconic restaurant of the city of Los Angeles. Uh, we've been open and we haven't closed our doors since 1908, so we're the longest continually operating restaurant. So the French dip really is a Los Angeles iconic menu item. It's on a French roll, which is about seven inches long. Um, it's a tray roll that we use uh, from a bakery we've used for decades. Typically, the French dip sandwich is roast beef. You also have pork, lamb, turkey, and pastrami, but 60% of the sandwiches we're gonna do are gonna be roast beef. All the meats are actually prepared the same. Um, they're on a bed of vegetables. Um, they're seasoned and spiced, topped with rock salt and garlic. Typically, the beef will cook for about three, three and a half hours, depending on the size. We turn it two to three times per roasting, but uh, all the other meats, like I said, are prepared the same, same flavor profile. Uh, what really makes the sandwich, though, is the au jus. All the pan drippings from the roasting um, will be combined with a stock we make in-house. And this stock is going for over 24 hours. We're constantly adding to it. Um, throughout the cooking process of the meats, when we pull the meats out and start a new roasting, uh, the finished meats are trimmed, and that trim goes into the stock that we make. So you get all the flavors from the meats that are roasting. Uh, you combine the actual drippings from the pans at the end of the night, and that's what you're dipping your sandwiches in the next day. So it's a labor-intensive process. Philippe's opened in 1908. We were on Aliso Street. Um, we were forced to move in 1951 for the Hollywood Freeway Project. So if you try to go to our old location, it's really right in the middle of the freeway. So it does not really exist anymore. Um, so we moved to this location in 1951. Uh, it's a much larger building, and it's also right next to Dodger Stadium, so you'll see a lot of Dodger fans on homestands. Uh, you'll see a lot of travelers who are coming in through Union Station. Um, but this building specifically, prior to us moving in, was a machine shop, and it had hotels on the upstairs floor. So the layout's a little funky. Some of our customers um, actually think that uh, it's haunted, but I've spent the night here dozens of times, and I haven't had anything uh, weird happen, so. Um, but it, you know, there's a lot of stories that go with the history of the building and the restaurant itself.